Is this a bird? Is this a plane? Nope, that's a plane. That's a plane. Okay, where am I? I'm in some sort of an aircraft flying at ridiculously high speeds and there is an enemy. Unfortunately, I have no weapons. So what do I have to do? We're going to try to smack into the enemy face first. Here comes the seaplane attempting the chase camera and and we totally missed him. Anyway, Welcome to What The Math. Today we're taking a look at a game called Simple Planes. This really, really awesome sandbox game that allows you to create aircraft and then use those aircraft for some crazy destructive purposes or possibly just flying around like I'm doing right now. <laughs> And so this is a game called Simple Planes. Once you purchase it, this is what you'll see. Uh, this game is actually available for all possible systems, I think, except for Linux. Uh, you can play this on your phone, you can play this on your tablet, uh, also on Mac and PC. And this game is obviously also available on Steam. Now, I, I highly recommend going through the school because here you'll get to learn how the airplanes work and what you need to know about every single part and um, what you need to know uh, in terms of construction, constructing the airplane. And also it tells you a little bit about the ground ground combat and, um, sorry, not the ground combat, the flying mechanics and also the air combat that is in this game. Uh, now, I haven't really covered everything yet, but uh, there's quite a lot of things like races where you can basically try to chase uh, different, uh, not chase, but try to race different airplanes in different uh, really, really cool looking areas. Actually, let me show you one of these areas using the P-51 Mustang. And so, uh, basically, let's retrieve the gear. Basically, the mechanics are really simple. You, you have a, another airplane that you're trying to um, race against. And here you have to go through these rings uh, one by one and attempting to basically uh, be the first. Now, these are actually not as easy as you think. I, I've played these many times and I'm still struggling with some of them because you actually have to try to dodge these big... I guess they're called teeth. I think they're called ocean teeth or something, or shrek teeth. Um, and um, you have to try to go through each ring. And it's actually relatively difficult because there is um, air mechanics in this game that are actually quite realistic. Um, all right, so this is racing. There's also air combat, which is actually pretty awesome. Now, um, before I go into air combat, I, I want to just show you the sandbox because this is what you'll probably spend doing the most. And this is probably the most fun part of the game where you actually get to build and fly. Basically, you build your own airplane. Uh, and this is actually my first creation. Totally ugly, totally not awesome, but absolutely awesome because it's orange and black and because it has three cannons. Look at that. Three cannons and also two little missiles. Yes, this game has mi air missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and also air-to-ground missiles uh, that you get to use, uh, that I get to use. Now, unfortunately, this thing is super unstable, so I'm probably going to lose, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, uh, let me just show you how the actual creation mode works. It's, it's not particularly difficult. And um, basically what you do is uh, you have different uh, parts, structural parts, wings, propulsion, landing gear, cockpits, uh, gizmos, which are, I think, things like camera and um, something called rotator. I guess that's that's for if you want to create a helicopter. Um, and uh, detachers, which are, I think, similar to um, separators in the Kerbal Space Program. Basically, they'll, they'll separate parts that you want to release at some point. Um, and of course weapons look at that. There's all kinds of bombs and missiles and um, things like miniguns I was actually my original attempt was to try to create eight eight and um, Warthog airplane, but unfortunately it doesn't allow me to put the actual gun inside the nose So I kind of feel at like that but we're gonna we're gonna actually let's let's attach these rocket pods that, that look absolutely awesome uh, Okay, let's put them somewhere. Can I put them under the wing? Uh, no, I can't can I put them... Can I put them right here? Oh, nice. I can put them right in front. So, and now we can actually just um, mirror it to make two of them. Look at that. This is awesome. Uh, also, let's attach... Um, we're going to attach... Uh, or uh, attach it to an arm group. This is going to be button three. And so now we have a super armed aircraft that is super unstable but super pretty. Let's actually try to fly it first. And um, what I really like about this... Your engine aren't getting enough air. Oh, that's because I put the thingy in front of the thingy. Oh, this is this is actually pretty awesome. So, um, because I actually have these things blocking my air intakes, my engine is not going to be really powerful now. You can see it barely even working. All right, that's actually something I didn't even know. That's that's awesome. So, we may have to replace these or, or possibly just remove them completely. 
All right, here we go. We're just gonna put them right next to the cockpit because that's probably the safest place they can be, right? Right. Anyway, so let's let's see how this flies, and let's see what happens. So basically, this is the takeoff. It's uh, relatively realistic, and uh, as you can see, the game runs absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'm getting 60 FPS, and this is on the highest setting because basically this game is meant for oh, okay uh, all kinds of platforms. Um, including um, uh, smartphones so for that reason it actually is a little bit s more simplified in terms of graphics but it still looks pretty good so this is what the cockpit looks like um, let's see if we can fire some missiles at things oh there's actually right there there is even um, an aircraft carrier that you can try to use for some advanced uh, Ooh, look at that can I launch can I launch whoa that's so cool Let's, let's try, actually try to bomb it. Uh, so you can use this for uh, practicing really advanced landings. And uh, I am not that good at landings, so I'm probably going to totally not even come close to that. Uh, but you can obviously do things like, you know, shoot your guns. Uh, you can uh, also shoot your rockets that we here have right here. Look at that, that's so cool. Here comes the rocket, and I think it went inside the water. Um, and uh, you also have these missiles right here for air combat. So basically this game is essentially a combination of um, Well everything that I kind of wanted when I was younger when I really loved playing with the aircraft um, you have the uh, aircraft creator you have the um, air combat simulator and relatively realistic air combat simulator and Of course you also have oh look at that. I actually did hit it. Ha 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 And what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I think I destroyed myself by accident. I know what happened. I think one of the missiles actually did hit my cockpit. And <laughs> that destroyed the aircraft. Uh, so don't place missiles next to your cockpit. Lesson learned. And so that's the sandbox mode. And uh, here, if you don't want to create your own craft, you can actually download the planes. Now, I can't really press this button because it's actually going to open a browser for me. Uh, but this will allow you to download uh, various creations that people already have. And I've actually, I believe I downloaded one of them before. And this is a craft I really wanted to try as soon as I started the game. This is SR-71 uh, Blackbird. And uh, I'm going to show you how this actually flies. Because this is a pretty awesome craft. I don't think it has any weapons. Does it? No, it doesn't have any weapons. Uh, but it flies ridiculously fast. And it's also super, super loud. Uh, this craft was going at something like 1 km per second at some point. And you can basically reach uh, high, ridiculously high altitudes. But unfortunately here, unlike in Corbo Space Program, there is really nothing that goes on in, um, in the upper atmosphere. There's no space, there's nothing like that. So I believe once you reach really, really high altitude, it just kind of turns into very bright sky and nothing really happens. But we're going to do that anyway. We're actually going to try to reach the highest altitude. And... Uh, Whoever made this plane, really, really well done. This is actually a really beautiful looking plane. It flies really well as well and is definitely uh, one of the, probably one of the better planes I, I've seen so far. Uh, anyway, so basically that's what happens when you reach higher altitude. You'll eventually reach um, something like several um, hundred feet, uh, several hundred thousand feet in altitude and there's, there will be nothing. It will be just completely white. White and also clouds. Anyway, moving on, let's actually look at something else. And what I wanted to look at is, of course, the, the fun part in this game. And this is, of course, when you get to... So the fun part about this game is that you actually get to dogfight against other airplanes. And now, unfortunately, there's no multiplayer, at least yet. But you definitely can play against um, an, uh, a computer player. Let's actually give him something. Oh, let's give him SR-71. Ha ha ha, this is going to be fun. Uh, so it's going to be my first creation against this... Uh, creation I just downloaded. Let's see how this goes. Uh, this thing doesn't have weapons, so it's a little bit of an unfair fight, but uh, who cares? Anyway, so let's uh, let's try to get into position here. I don't even know where he is actually. Uh, he's be he's behind me apparently. So let's engage our weapons. Air to air. What? I have no missiles. What are you talking about? Here we go. Interceptor missiles. Uh, I haven't actually. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, wow, that was fast. I don't remember if I enabled the camera mode for the missiles, but you can actually enable the mode where you'll actually see what the missile sees and you'll have some really. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. He's gonna go behind the mountain. Enemy aircraft destroyed. Yay, I won. <laughs> that was that was easy. Uh, so he actually just smacked into something. Let's try to destroy him with a missile. 
And now. How do you here you go? Launch window. And here comes the missile. Let's see if it hits him. Let's launch the second one. Look at that. Oh, that was cool. Totally missed though. I think I missed both of them. That was super awesome. And so I think this is what really makes this game unique and kind of fun is that uh, basically you get to build your own plane and then you get to experience these really awesome um, jet dogfights that you don't get to experience in any other game. And obviously you can create an airplane that you want to apply and you can essentially uh, practice different designs and find out that it's actually really difficult to build a successful airplane as I found out when I built this somewhat ugly looking orange pumpkin. There's also all kinds of challenges here that you can try to achieve yourself. So, for example, there's obviously carrier landing, um, things like short takeoff and short landing, but this is actually the one I haven't tried yet and I want to try. Uh, this is evading SAM um, or surface-to-air missiles. And I think you can choose... Let's choose this airplane. Um, you can choose your creation here as well. And it says, okay, first wave. The missiles in this first wave have targeting abilities roughly equivalent to potato gun. Okay, should be pretty easy to evade. So this is a challenge where you essentially have to, I think, avoid missiles. Okay, here here comes the missile. Let's see if, how well we do against it. Oh boy. Whoa, that was super close. Okay, so let's see uh, if we can actually survive these two waves. What? Missile reacquired... No, 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 no. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. And now, unfortunately, uh, there. I'm, I'm going to mention some negatives while I'm trying to avoid avoid these missiles. Unfortunately, this game is obviously not perfect. Uh, one thing I don't like about this game, and it's actually totally driving me nuts, is the music. It, it, that that tune you hear in the background. This is all you'll hear uh, while playing this game. Uh, there is really no other music. Uh, it, it's very unfortunate. So you may actually want to at some point tune it down and uh, possibly um, have your own songs playing because it's actually not particularly good and it's also not particularly exciting. It doesn't actually fit this game. Um, where's the missile? Oh, I evaded it. Cool. Um, the other thing I, I'm not sure how I feel about is the fact that um, at least for now it's, relatively, it's a relatively simple um, airplane creator. Wave on complete. Yay. Um, in other words, uh, it, there's just not enough, for, at least for my taste, having played Kerbal Space Program, there's not enough parts, and also the parts that you do have uh, are slightly limited in what they can do. Uh, so when I was actually building my, my plane, I had trouble placing uh, my gun where I wanted to place it. I also had a little bit of a trouble uh, customizing my wings and the shape of my... Um, my fuselage, so there's actually some limitations to that, so you won't be able to create any design that you want, like in Kerbal Space Program, for example. Uh, but I'm sure this will change uh, with time, because this is still a game that's very recently been uh, released. Uh, I mean, this is only a, a first installment of this game, and I'm sure they'll actually probably um, make it a little bit more complex in the future. Hey, I'm actually doing pretty well. And the other main disadvantage here is that, of course, you only really get uh, this particular area where you get to fly around. Unfortunately, there isn't that many levels yet. Uh, obviously, there's no, like, planet or there's no um, um, any other, like, cities or surface areas you get to visit. And I really hope that there will be uh, an active modding community for this game that will add a lot of other things like extended land masses, uh, various locations to visit, and uh, specifically what I would like to see is uh, a variety of different airplane parts that will be added to this game. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, this is actually kind of fun. I mean, for a game that's relatively cheap and the game that uh, actually works on pretty much any system um, and works really well on any system, I think this is actually a pretty, pretty, awesome, um, pretty awesome game. It will be really, really awesome to see the multiplayer mode in here because uh, playing this against your friends and, uh, you know, trying to face off the enemy that created their own airplane and you trying to defeat them in your own airplane would be absolutely amazing. Um, I kind of have not really heard about the multiplayer mode and I'm not sure how they would implement this because this would be uh, quite dependent on your, uh, your connection. Yay, I actually survived this. Look at that. Achievement, danger zone. Haha, <laughs> this is from the Top Gun. Awesome, so we've survived this uh, this challenge. 
And so this is the game called Simple Planes in a nutshell. Check out uh, the link for this game in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and also share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't. And game you guys later. In the next video, we're going to take a look at another game and do some more space exploration. Thank you and bye-bye.